Welcome to my channel Swiplan. This tutorial I will show you how to create and load crystal report uh, based on date range in sp.net C sharp. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. This is my server catalog SBR. Start Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Okay connect I expand the database folder ok my database name is my task db I expand the database my task db I expand the table I can see my table name is student info underscore tab student id name address is and contact design yes now I'm gonna add a column uh, column is uh, insert date date of birth column is date of birth and data type is day time okay now save yes it's saved for the objection I replace the table yes now DOB date of birth is added okay this is the records in the database table and now I'm gonna insert the date of birth uh, date of birth is uh, 1st January 2012, 2nd February 2012, 3rd March 2012 and ok now I'm gonna insert one more records student ID 6, name Christina, address USA, age 25, contact long and date of birth date of birth is 2nd February 1999 ok now I'll start visual studio Go to the file menu, new website. Okay, ASP.NET web form site. Select the location. Location is uh, D Crystal. Uh, okay, D drive and the application name is Load Report Date Range. Click on OK. Now my asp.net web application is created the default the, the, these are the default text you can see in the design now I'm gonna remove this text and I will design uh, this uh, form okay and the heading is load crystal report based on range of date okay now add a deep tag in this deep tag I will add a button control and a crystal report viewer control okay now in the in deep tag, first deep tag, I, I will add a button control. Just drag the button control from the toolbox and drop it in the SPX form. And now add the crystal report viewer control from the toolbox. Yes, report viewer is added. Now design this button control. Uh, text is load report. Resize this button control and uh, go to the property change the font size font bold true and uh, font for color is white back color yes now it's looking nice go to the button click event now i'm gonna write code to connect with sql server sql connection con equal to new sql connection to use SQL connection you should add system.data.sql client namespace ok the namespace is added now I am gonna add connection string in the SQL connection and to get the connection string go to the server explorer and right click on the data connection add connection server name my server name is catalog hyphen sbr yes and authentication is SQL server authentication username sa and password is SQL server authentication password 
okay now select the database my database name is my test db test connection succeeded and click on ok yes now uh, see that in the table folder student info underscore tab student ID name addresses contact and date of birth to get the connection student, right click on the database and go to the property double click to select and copy paste it in SQL connection okay now it's connected with the SQL Survey database now command SQL command my SQL command uh, is to select all the records from the student info tab too so SQL command cmd equal to new SQL command initialize the connection string con and command is select a star from student info underscore tab for the table name you can see in the server explorer okay now command is done SQL dated after SQL data adapter SD equal to new SQL data adapter CMD I mean SQL command finally data set oh uh, yes data set S equal to new data set okay uh, you should add uh, namespaces in system the data to use data set okay uh, system to data is added now sd dot fill s okay now crystal report uh, now I'm gonna add a crystal report which I will display in the crystal report viewer check the command with grid view in that case I'm gonna add a grid view uh, to test that whether the command is whether my code is okay uh, perfectly working or not in that case just uh, uh, add this code grid view under data choose equal to s grid view under data bind okay now just uh, go right click and go to the view in browser in the default aspect space click on load report oh no no login failed for user sa i mean connection string this error occurred in connection string so let's check the connection string yes user id sa is okay but password is a star so should put your sql server authentication password okay now uh, go to the browser and reload this page yes yes okay load report yes this uh, records is uh, load uh, loaded in the uh, data grid view so my connection is sql connection is okay now i'm gonna add a crystal report to add crystal report right click on this uh, uh, your project add new item and uh, adding crystal report yes crystal report name the crystal report my crystal report name is crystal report underscore d Ra underscore range click on add yes using the report wizard okay clear new connection oldb adu expand the oldb adu and select oldb provider for sql server click on next server name is catalog hyphen sbr user id sa and password is sql server authentication password what you set in sql server okay my database name is my task db click on next finish okay you can see my task db is added now expand the db and add the student info underscore tab okay this is the default text print date and page number i just uh, removed uh, print date now i'm gonna design this uh, crystal report uh, from field explorer if you don't uh, get the field explorer you can add this field explorer from view menu beside of file edit uh, okay now i just uh, adding a title of this form uh, form title is uh, title of this report report title is load student information resize this text 15 okay and uh, align okay now add student id student name add, uh, and uh, then okay 
edges is contact and date of birth okay now arrange and design this uh, report uh, okay underline false now insert line and make this report uh, which, uh, look like a table I just uh, copy the line object okay this is a vertical line now I'm gonna add a horizontal line to design this report like a table yes okay you can design this report like okay now in the default dot asp uh, uh, you yeah, i just uh, write code to load uh, records in the crystal report and it will display in the default.spx form in that case add report document r equal to new report document to use report document you should add namespace using crystal decisions dot crystal report engine okay the namespace is added now r dot load this is uh, to loading report to load report you should add uh, server dot map path i mean report path report name is crystal report underscore data underscore dot rpt just paste the crystal report name crystal report underscore date underscore range dot rpt okay now r dot set data source ds i mean data from sql server database what i load in the data set s r dot set data source s dot table third breaks and table tables okay now Finally, Crystal Report Viewer 1. What I added uh, from the toolbox Crystal Report Viewer 1 dot report chores equal to R. R dot export to HTTP response. Okay. Export format type export format type to use export format type you should add namespace namespace is um, using crystal decisions dot shared yes now you can use uh, export format type uh, format is uh, portable doc format I mean PDF PDF format and HTTP response response and attachment false and attachment name I mean crystal report after exporting crystal report name will be student info report close the double question okay now right click the form and view in browser load report yes the report is loaded successfully but it's uh, not looking nice uh, to look it perfectly just uh, change the vertical line in the page header okay now reload this page yes load report yes now I'm gonna bold the heading to bold and select and click on bold yes now it's bolded and uh, looking nice okay now now i'm gonna add a higher close uh, uh, and a text box control which you will use as date time okay so go to the toolbox and add a text box control just drag the text control and draw for double click to add 
okay text box is added now add a text uh, uh, text is dob and the text box name is text box one dot text now i'm gonna add a higher clause to add a higher clause first of all i'm gonna declaring a variable uh, date time because dob date of birth is date time so uh, text box one uh, convert it to date time date time d equal to date time dot first text box one dot text now adding higher clause higher dob date of birth greater than or equal add syntax single quotation and then double quotation and plus sign then uh, variable d d is text box one dot text date d dot date okay now go to the different browser right click and view in browser okay greater than or equal to date of birth first january 2020 you can see 2010 uh, okay now first january 2014 you can see first january 2014 greater than only two records send and jack if i put first january uh, 1999 then all the records will display yes you can see first january 1999 greater than or equal first january 99 all the records are displaying in the crystal report okay remove this uh, grid view because it's uh, no need i just added it as test of connection string and sql connection okay now less than or equal what i have shown you greater than or equal now less than or equal less than or equal uh, date of birth you print the tax box okay now first january 2014 less than 2014 you can see 2012 and 99 and if uh first january 2010 then it's only displaying one record is uh, 2nd february 1999 